What does the world see when I walk into the room? A weaker vessel to the man because I am a woman? Oh, and did I mention that I am a black woman? Before you even get to know me, you have already made up in your mind that I am a weak, good-for-nothing, loud, uneducated, ratchet black woman. Tell me how many people of all races run to the handouts of the government offers. But because I am black, I am labeled as a black woman who wants a handout. When in actuality, I am a second class income of making too much to get any assistance from my government. I get turned down from jobs because I refuse to put chemicals in my hair as society has fooled my people into thinking it's a curse to wear our hair in its natural state. I cannot change the fact that God put my, into my DNA for my hair to grow as wool or cotton in an upward position and not as fine silk in a downward position as society would prefer it to be. Or I cannot wear my hair in braids or cornrows or my hair is too big because of its length and thickness. No matter what way I wear my hair, it's going to be unprofessional. If I just come to work with it in a ponytail, as you say, ghetto and ratchet styles. So what do you want me to do? Shave it all off? So you, the good old United States who sells those dreams, those lies of the so-called American dreams to foreigners. You say, come here, it's wonderful to live here. I can make millions, but still looked down upon because I am a black woman. How about my sister over here, who's a shade darker than me, who goes into corporate America for a job, and they turn her away, and before she can get out of the door, your CEOs laugh among yourselves and say, my, look how black and nappy-headed she is. She will bring a negative look to our company, not knowing that the woman who just walked out of your office was the one that could have brought your company billions of dollars. The few white friends I have, when I am invited to their house, you look and you think, there's a black person here wonder why she is here and who invited her. My daughter once told me upon meeting her white friend's parent that they don't associate closely with black people or have them in their home because of their view of all black people. They feel like they are all the same. So before you even get to know me, you have already labeled me. But yet I sat at a table full of white parents Parents who are children play and hang together, watching how deep in their conversations they were, purposely avoiding talking to me while you sneak a glance at me from time to time. And when it's time to leave, I get asked, oh, whose parent are you again? Remember, I was the only black person at the table. Need I say more? Yes, my people get into trouble. Yes, my people kill others as well as each other. Yes, my people have races among them. Yes, my people seek and some will use the system. Yes, my people have a lot of single mothers. But doesn't your people also do the same and have the same issues as my people? Black on black crime, white on white crime, Hispanic on Hispanic. But everyone is so quick to say, look how they kill their own kind. Why don't they just shut up? Hashtag Black Lives Matters. The last time I checked, all races killed their own. But this thing right here, how the black community is still treated and profiled? Yes, we have criminals. But don't treat them any worse than what you would treat a white criminal who has done the same crime. This thing is way deeper than just cop on black person crime. It is legalized racism. I am already profiled when I step out in public. When will the judging of being black stop? Why are you afraid of me? When you, I have never shown myself violent to you. Why are you embarrassed to have me around your other friends and family? Why did you even ask me? How am I going to wear my hair before coming to your family picnic? Why? 
The answer, I guess, will be never. Not until this world, as we know, ends. <laughs>